read the scriptures we read and we arvule linchi la mudi mare van amen tell anybody look at yourself tilivelele don't trust pastors see whatever route how can you trust pastor where as you are feeling to trust yourself ogatse pa jang morutu uthi palwa ku uthi tsep love pastors rata ba route tell your neighbor and your neighbor say what your neighbor say what oring makilon okay god bless you mondi mali shufach let's read john 6 ara bale john 6 from verse 22 12:22 It says the next day the crowd that stood on the other side of the sea realized that there had been only one small boat there and that Jesus has not boarded the boat with his disciples but that his disciples had gone away alone now some other small boats from Tiberias had come in near the place where they ate uh, the bread after the lord had given thanks so when the crowd saw that neither jesus nor his disciples were there they boarded the small boats themselves and came to capernaum looking for jesus and when they found him on the other side of the sea they asked him rabbi when did you get here until this read jesus answered i assure you and most solemnly say to you you have been searching for me not because you saw the signs attesting miracles but because you ate the loaves and were filled do not do not work for food that perishes but for food that endures and leads to eternal life which the son of man will give you for god let's pray thank you lord for your word in jesus name amen amen today i want to talk about honesty le khono ke nyoko volela ka go tsepahana just right be honest tsepahana be honest to yourself tsepahana mo go wena you heard my introduction le khwile matseno aka don't trust as but lovers ka tsepa ndrena be honest with yourself wena o tsepagala mo wena if you can read here you see the lord i mean on the sea of galilee o tle go bona morena mo le wa teng le la tiberia after on top there he did miracles a le go di mo maladi ya mitholo and he come on this side of the sea ba ta le thakoreng le la ka mola le watle if you can read from verse 22 it says ao ba la otwa o verse 22 iri yona the people who were standing on the other side ba tsa ne ba eping le bopong ka ntleng yela they began to move searching for him ba thoma o monyaka but they came they came to the place where he did the miracle of bread ba ya tlong yela direleng motholo wo la wa bogobe they could not find him ba se mogetse When they didn't find him they went on the other side. Ah ba sa motholi ba ya ntlengela ya ngwe. There's a question when he found them when they they found him. Ona le potsisho ga e jona nga ba to mogetse. They ask him. Ba mmotshisha. And they say when did you come here? Ba ra hape botse botse jona ngo fitile kana go mang mo. I knew why they asked that question. Ke a tse bo re why ba botshisho potsisho yeo. It was not because it was very fast he was moving fast. Ne se ka le ba ka la ona ke tima sepiti go bana a sepela ka lebelo. They were checking the timing. Ne ba lebelela nako. Another miracle of bread. Ya motholo mongwe wo ta di alang wa bogobe. Remember they were searching for him. Go bolang ne ba nyakana le yena motho. They was beginning to think that when they found they will found that ah he has already done the miracle. Ne ba na ona ra mo fe ba tbo khwetsa go to ba ta thola se tsa feditse. When they reached there, they say, ah, say, when, when did you come here? Ah, fit ba fit ba na ah khanti we na o fitile kana go mang. If he say it's a long time I'm here. Ha nka ba ya bo le tsho re khalesela ke le mo. They will say, ah, have we ever done another one of? Ba na ba ta mo shore jo na go bo be ba bo go se tsho o bere ke le na. So Jesus answered them and say i know why you are such so jesus ba fetola botsa re ke tsebore wa le nyaka 
I mean, you are searching for me, you are looking for the bread. Jesus was challenging their honesty. How they searched for him was not for what he was expecting. They were looking on what they will get. So their searching was based on what are they going to get. Even when they ask that question, how did you come here? He said, I know what you are searching for. If they might have reached there and say, we are searching for you, make bread. Jesus could not say anything. I don't know if you are hearing me. Always when you come to Jesus, the first thing that will be checked is honesty. Are you truthful to yourself? Because if you are honest, you are able to destroy hypocrisy. Tell when you are honest, you can, you can be able to be identified and be a person without hypocrisy. Why? Because there's truthful in you. Sincerely, you check yourself. Sincerely. So these ones, they never check themselves. They were supposed to be following Christ because of the power that makes him to do what he can do. They were supposed to be questioning who is he? But their focus was miracles. I don't know if you hear me. They didn't focus on a person. So Jesus was saying, when I look at you, you're, you're a hypocrite. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we read Matthew 22, if we read from verse 15 to 22, just read that verse, you will hear something. You'll be challenged when you hear this verse. From verse 15. From verse 15. Then the what? Pharisees yes. went and conspired together, plotting yes. how to trap him by distorting what he said. Yes. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a sincere and that you teach the way of God truthfully without concerning yourself about what anyone thinks or says of your teachings. For you are impartial and do not seek anyone's favor. And you treat all people alike regardless of status. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it permissible according to the Jewish law and tradition to pay a poll tax to Caesar or not. But Jesus, aware of their malice, asked, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the poll tax. And they brought him a, a denier, a day's wage. And Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and incision is this? They said, The emperor's Tiberius Caesar. Then he said to them, Then, Pay to Caesar the things that are Caesar's you know, and to God the things that are God's. You know, when we read the scripture, you can see what these people are saying. The first thing, they know Jesus is honest. When they came to Jesus, they said, we know you. You are so much honest because you cannot test honesty. When you are not honest, you cannot test honesty. So automatically, when you just test honesty, you are not honest. Jesus with the truth. But they 
change it to attack him. Because many times when people approach you, they approach you with the truth they know about you. Whereas they want to judge you and trap you. And the Bible says when they reach there, they say, we know you. You are so much honest. Even when you preach, you don't preach. You don't preach about any other people. Automatically, Jesus was supposed to hit his chest. But when Jesus looked at them, he saw that they are liars. Because they could not ask him any other question to trap him. If they know his honesty, if they know they will change their lives and try to take whatever he said to trap him. Many times we need to be careful of the people who question our honesty. They can come to praise you. But when you are honest, they can trap you. They can trap you. They can trap you. They can you. They can you. They can praise you so that you get out from truthfulness and you find yourself speaking things that will trap yourself. It happened to Jesus that they tried to trap him. I don't know if you're hearing me. People are so powerful they can show that they understand you. Testing your honesty. Maintain your honesty. And your honesty. If you read as I want from verse 10, verse 10 you could hear God was tired of people and these people they come to church they lift their hands and worship but God whatever they were doing was not honest to extend God say to them come to me come to me Come to me, we reason together. Tell me the reason why you are not honest. I mean, you know the truth. Come to church. You worship God. Why are you not honest? He said, even if your sins are red like crimson, if we reason together, I can show you that honesty is important. You know, when I was reading this, I began to say that truly, always this thing is happening. The Bible says, when you lift your hands, he said, I will hide my face. Like I was trying to tell you that honesty is not a church. I said, I was trying to tell you that honesty is not a church. I don't know if you are hearing me. He said, when you lift your hands, I will hide my face. Even if you make long prayers, long prayers without honesty, is an abomination before God. I don't know if you are hearing me. We have got ability to can pray the more. We can deceive people around us. When they look at us, they see us doing things that they can admire. But God looks deep down and check our honesty. Because our God is looking in your heart. People are looking outside of you. Listen, any activities must not give you direction. Whatever you see in the church you must never conclude is the Holy Spirit. Because many of us, when we are tested in honesty, we are hyper-tested. We found we are hyper-tested. We found we are shouting what we are not. We found we are talking what we don't understand. This is the time that you sit with yourself alone. 
and ask yourself how far are you in the spirit without waiting for someone to judge you. Be honest with yourself and check deep down when you lift your hands are you meaning it? When you pray honesty will be the one that will determine your step before God. are you honest? Are you so honest? And what says your neighbor? In Proverbs 12 verse 5 it says the thoughts and the consistency or the thoughts and the purposes of the consistency of righteous men are honest. But the counsel and the schemes of the wicked are deceitful. If you can see, the Bible says the thoughts and the purposes. Your thoughts and purposes execute your actions are showing where you are standing with God. Your honesty is checked in your thoughts. Your the reason why I hold Mike here and preach, God won't look when I'm preaching. He will look at the purpose and the thoughts that makes me to hold the Let mic to preach. I don't know if you're hearing that. Pastor say, your thoughts and your purposes are before God. Are you honest? So the moment when you're consistent, when you're carrying on, doing what is right, automatically you are telling yourself you're honest. Look here, a person who's not honest is always fluctuating. That person is on and off. The reason why we've got Christians today who are heathen is because they can worship God but they are sinners. Your consistency determines you. Your, your consistency in doing right determines you. you. I mean, how can you spend five years being faithful before God and one time you find yourself sinning? Look at the second stanza of that verse. It talks about the schemes. It's, let me read it. It says, but the counsel and schemes of the wicked are deceitful. When God look at our cancer, he sees that they even deceive us. You know, I was finding a scripture that says, the heart of the righteous, the, the heart that is determined is on the right side. When he moves, he moves towards the right. The direction is on the right. But the heart of the wicked is on the left. That is why whatever they do, it that even deceives them. You can do things when people are placing, pressing you, but the same thing will deceive you. The same thing will fail you. Whatever that is deceit, it won't stand the taste of time. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let's read Proverbs 13 verse 10. Can we read 10 to 11? Ten to eleven. It says what? Hearing. It says, says, can you ask somebody to say, are you honest to yourself? Read. Though pride and presumption comes nothing but strife, but skillful and godly wisdom is with those who welcome well-advised counsel. Wealth obtained by fraud dwindles, but 
he who gathers gradually by honesty, labor will increase his riches. I wanted to speak only the verse, this one that she's finishing. Verse 11. He who increase gradually by honesty will increase. There is increase in honesty. You must never compete yourself with someone. Some people, they are Becoming rich in a wrong way. Others, they are obtaining things in a wrong way. It's better you take every step to the way. If you become rich by working, no one will put you down. When there is honesty, I don't know if you are hearing me. I know many people in my village. When I was growing up, they become very rich. I can take you that they are very poor. Even their children are poor. Such kind of riches are like a flower. That rises by day. But there will be a time where it will fade away. It's better you become honest. If we can have Christians who are honest, they will speak the truth and stand in the truth even if they can be rejected. I don't know if you are hearing me. Many of us here today, we are trying to hide who are we because we need to be accepted. Sometimes we want to produce ourselves. We become producers of ourselves and sell ourselves when as we are not even reaching a limit. This is the time of accepting yourself the way you are. And you allow God to be in control. And God will tell you though your beginning is small your latter end will flourish one day. You can take one step at a time than to rush to anything. Accept God to guide your steps. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you read verse 11 again? It says what? It is wealth obtained by fraud, dwindles. Uh -huh. But he who gathers gradually by gradually. honest labor, labor will increase his riches. There's increase. He who gathers gradually. You know, one time I work with another man. This man taught me something. I didn't understand the things of scrapyard. But when we are coming back, you know, coming back from work, you've been, you know, I, I even told my wife, I said, that man is always surprising me. When I he, he will be looking like this around. Are we American? You know that's a ma hadia hadia levelel. If he can get just one piece of metal, he takes it. Why roll? He takes that thing. I said, we are coming from work. What are you doing? You will see. You will see. You will see, you will see, you will see you will see and you will carry it. One day I told that So one day he got something very big. Uh, and that thing was very heavy and he so wanted to take it home. I, I said I won't help him and he carries it. And I can see that he was suffering. And now he was staying at Sitama. One day when I visited him, I said, I found in his room there were only his And I asked him, how do you sleep in a place like this? He knows what he was doing. One day he, get, he found a, a bucket. One day he got a bucket. And he took all the steel metals that were in his house. He, took them to, he was sleeping with them inside the room. He was laughing and laughing and saying, What are you doing? It's like you are crazy by holding all these kind of things. Can't these things are money. 
was gathering them I was laughing at him. There are some people here today. They are gathering the word of God and to them. them. And nothing is happening. But I'm here to tell you that thing you are gathering is about to work for you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is increase when you are going slowly and surely checking yourself. You must check yourself. Honesty is needed. I wish we can have Christians when we choose them to work in the church. They must say, Pastor, I want to be honest. You don't know who I am. I'm a thief. I'm not supposed to be a, a, a worshiper. I'm an usher. Sometimes some people when they come to our churches when they have money we make them assistant pastors. In the night they are not stealing. They are stealing. During the day they are pastors. Because they can bring money in the church. We need to check ourselves. Listen. You will never know people until you become honest to yourself. You, you don't need to compromise on who you are. Identify your weakness. And allow people to pray for you. 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 He said, this, this pastor is very sick. And this pastor is praying for people. And I said, so what do you say? say I want to bring that pastor to you. I said, it's impossible. I said, okay, you can do that. Later he called me and said, hey, that pastor cannot come there. I said, no, we lack honesty. Because our eyes are on people. Outside we are strong. But deep down we are weak. Tell us, hey, be be honest, honest, be honest yourself. Who are you? Can you ask your partner, your friend? Can you be honest yourself? Who are you? 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 Who you? Who are you? Who are when I was doing one-on-one, -on -one, I found this lady that was not honest to her si husband. Si but that story I once told you, but I want to tell you. She was not honest to her husband. And the lady was HIV positive. But she never told the husband. And, and the, the husband, husband was sick. He was and going around. And the husband came to me with her. And she said, Pastor, I want to see you first before we come together. She became honest to me. But she could not be honest to her husband. And she said, Pastor, I know you. I'm afraid you will reveal me to my husband. I gave my husband HIV. Listen to these people who are not honest. They are more than killers. I don't know if you are hearing me. I say, sister, if you would have told this man, he could still love you. And you seek the solution with him. Now you have killed this man. We need to be open-minded. And so that we must not be obstructions for others. We must not build obstructions for others. Tell it, tell it, ask your neighbor. Are you honest with yourself? Are you sure you love me? Are you sure you are a Christian? Just be honest with yourself. I've got a serious problem today with you. Some of you, you are not honest with yourself. You can be doing fasting of seven days. 
but on the other side say it's dry fasting but you are eating mara o ibitsa gore ke dry fasting mara khone ngo njuja too much hypocrisy here reba ikaketse ba ufitisha tekano i'm pray for you today na ke le rapella nase that you reveal something that you hide and lutu lentwe le ipitile le ke ditene le ntse tse pepene ne go morene so that people will be able to read you o dira re batho ba tebe khono le bala botse god will be able to use you god will never use you with a hidden seed so wa le bere ke shitse le na le sebe sa o fitere na ke tse bore le ntse bona god will never use you with a hidden seed so wa le shume shitse le na le sebe sa o fitere are you honest with yourself mo tsa go gafara o ya tsepagala go wena wena na say be honest with yourself and don't tsepagala o betege mo wena i want to show you another scripture here ke le bontsheng le ngwalo le lengwa se le christian will do this mo pholo so ta dia se in first thessalonians mo ba thessalane ka ba pele 5 2 1 5 21 21 The Bible says you must prove prove all things and hold fast to watch is good. In your version, can you read, Mama? But test all things carefully. Carefully. So you can recognize what is good. Test, hold test all things carefully. When people come to you test them. But how are you tamo wena go le kule? Some of the things that you know you are facing you trusted wrong people. Che dingwe che o dilo che o kopana le yona ke le bakala go tshepile batho ba seng bona. When you see something wrong be honest tell them. Ah wena o bona ntwe si si yona. You don't believe in this. Nko o vote ora ye yona na. You're not part of that. Na se nna ka re le tshe a ke tseba le ntwa. Be carefully test carefully. Ka tokomela. So you can recognize what is good. So hold, that you recognize what is good, okay? All the family to that which is good. Read it again. All the family to that which is good. Hold family on that which is good. Amen. In other words, when you check them carefully. Au thola o lekola botse. And you found a good thing you will hold it. Wa thola o na le e botse wa swarelela. I'm pray that you people must get out from worrying about people. Ke rapella hore a re tswe ngo bilaela ka batho. People must never give you direction of what to talk about. Batho ba se ka le fatsopa tsela ya o le bolele ka e. When I swarelel a uti she. This one this is good. On this one this is good. If you come to me we we'll talk about that good. Ah o taka jo re re bo tshwara ye le le ngbulu. We must not talk about anybody. We talk about that good. We talk about that good. Mwa re ke ngare bolele ka tshela tshe botse. We cannot see if we are holding family. Ah re ka se dire se be ga re tshwara ye tshe ratisha. Go tshela tshe le ngbulu. Ka re ta felle tshe re dia fela tshe botse. Let us be honest with ourselves. Ga re tshepa ha le mo go rena. You know there's something that when we read in the book of John. Ona le ntwe re ba la mo bokeng ya tshwane. The book of John just write it down. In one leng fasi Johanna. John 12:1 to 7. Johanna 12:1 to 7. You see Judas there. Le bona Judas mol. When when Mary came with that oil. Ah ma Maria ta le oli hela. You could see that in Judas there was no sign of repentance. Mo go Judas ya na o se na le ka ntwe ya o bontsho re monna wa pena o nya ka tshe botse. He said let's Ure. sell it was supposed to be sold. Ntwe e ka be re. Lady was busy using it. Ye a mo sa tyo a ntse a shumisha a shumisha la o Jesu. She said it was supposed to be sold. Ore e ka be je re ya re ke iswa. And give to the poor and the Bible says. Ha wa tshele tshe ona rata ra ishumisha ta ba senya. No care. He love the poor. O rata ba thoki. Ka moina. In his heart were s. Pelong ya haye. He knew what he was saying. Na tse bo ro ra go reng. He wanted that money to be in the pocket. Na nya go tshele tse tsele ka ra pota ra e o tswe botse. One of the thing that makes Jesus. Ntwe nwe ya o dira ore Jesu. To give Judas chance. E a fe Judas monyeta. and he failed to find that chance of repentance was he failed to be honest he, he, he was like he loved the poor people but he knew that he wanted to get that money and use it for himself. have you ever find okay let's put this money here and when people say they agree you know they got a way into that pocket 
I don't know if you're hearing this. These are the things that make Judas, Judas to fail and end up being a child who was rejected. He was not honest to himself. Even when he's reprimanded, he watching. That's why the Bible says a child of perdition. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you read there, you see him acting like he understood that that money can be given but he had an option because when you're not honest, you speak what you're not. You don't stand in the truth. I don't know if you're hearing me. Ask your neighbor, are you honest with yourself? And when it says your, your neighbor, if we read maybe Matthew 27, from 11. I will tell you and we close. I want to tell you what happened to Pilate. Pilate was not honest to himself. And Jesus, when he was before Pilate, this man was supposed to say, ah, I need to know more about this. Why this man is like is proud. And we heard many stories that he's doing. There are many stories. But look what this man did. When he realized that Jesus was from Galilee, he took Jesus and sent him to Herod. When he sent him to Herod, he was afraid to judge him because he knew he was innocent. He understood that Jesus was innocent. But to say Jesus was innocent, he wanted to please people. He failed to be honest to himself. And you know he ended up crucifying Jesus. And he ended up crucifying Jesus. And he ended up crucifying Jesus. When Jesus came back, he knew he was innocent. He knew he was innocent. His enemy was Herod. And the Bible says they become friends. Because now he wanted someone who can pick him up in crucifying Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing me. Sometimes you need to be honest to yourself and forget people who are picking you in a wrong thing. People are supporting you in a wrong thing. Be honest to yourself. Be honest to yourself. I don't know if you are hearing me. Be honest yourself. If you are wrong, I'm wrong. If you are supposed to repent, say I want to repent. Without looking on what they will say. Let me show you what Pilate did also. When people began to accuse Jesus, Pilate would go to Jesus and say, Hey, are you hearing what they are saying? They are accusing you. I you don't say something. And Jesus was quiet. He never answered any accusation. And the Bible says, Pilate was shocked. I don't know if you are hearing me. Pilate was shocked. But though he was shocked, he could not check himself. I don't know if you are hearing that. The last thing that he knew that there's a notorious prisoner. He bring out a notorious prisoner. And ask people which one can we release here? And they say, release this prisoner. Release killer. Crucify Jesus. Jesus. After that, the wife of Pilate sent us a message and said, my husband, you know very, very well that this man is innocent. 
You've got nothing to do with the innocent. The wife was speaking. But he carried on. The last thing that he carried on. When you see that there will be a riot. He was afraid of riot. He was afraid of standing in the truth. They say they will report him to Caesar. If you don't crucify him. He failed to be honest. He called people to bring water and wash his hands and say, I'm innocent of this blood. And he offered Jesus to be crucified. This is the man who had all signs of rectifying his way. But because he judged looking on people, not looking in his heart, he judged looking by the surrounding. He went forward to do what is wrong. I want to tell you there are some people that God wants them to repent. They are not honest. And God wants to say, be honest. You know what you are doing. You know the life you are living. And people are backing you up. They are supporting you. They are standing with you. And you are hiding. You have got an opportunity to look inside yourself and tell yourself, hey, I know I'm doing wrong. Around here, be honest with when yourself today. Run forward for repentance. Be honest with yourself today. I'm waiting for you. Prayer with Apostle JB Makananisa. Touch your screen now. Run forward. Run forward for repentance. If you are watching me, wherever you are, be honest yourself. Stand wherever you are. Deep down, you know you are not honest. You know you are a liar. You know you are a killer. He who hides his sin will never prosper. Run forward, run. Be honest with yourself. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Say, Holy Father. Holy Father. Today. Today. I want to be honest with myself. I want to be honest with myself. I want to confess my sins. I want to confess my sins. Before you. Before you. Can you start to confess? Can you start to confess your sins? He's faithful and just to forgive you. Prayer. Prayer. Tell God everything wrong that you're doing. Be honest. Tell him. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, Father. Father. I thank you today. I thank you today. I'm accepting. I am accepting. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. To be my Lord. To be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Wash me, Wash me with the precious blood. With your precious blood. Make me your child today. Make me your child today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to say congratulations. Amen. You can go back and see them. Welcome to the family of God. Amen.